Hey, George here. Today I'm going to talk about the Peak Design Micro Clutch. Okay, so I got this as part of the Kickstarter campaign last year. I received mine about eight months ago, so I've been using it ever since. It's pretty much always on my camera. Uh, so I've had extensive experience using this thing. So I'll kind of go over my experience with this thing, as well as some of the quirks that I feel this thing has and some considerations that you might want to think about if you're considering potentially getting this thing. Now the version I got is the one with the L-plate. They do have two versions. One uh, is I-plate, so that's just a straight plate on the bottom instead of like this. Uh, the L-plates are really meant for cameras that have a grip on them, right? Now some cameras, you know, for example, the X100V from Fujifilm, uh, Ricoh GR3 or GR3X, those are a little bit, you know, they don't have the grip, so the L-plate one would be better for that. Uh, but this one, um, is the L-plate. And I would say, even though obviously it's not designed to be flush with this camera, because they're not custom for each camera, it's kind of just one play for all the different cameras. You know, because the the edges here are rounded, um, I don't really find any issues with it, right? Like it actually feels okay to me, even though you can kind of see, you know, I mean, it does stick out a little bit right here on the edges, uh, but I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, to me, I, I feel like it's 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 decent. I got this basically as a replacement for the cuff, which is what I used before. Um, you know, I I like to have something to secure the camera to me when I'm using it. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable, you know, handling camera with nothing attached. You know, I am sometimes a little bit afraid of like, you know, accidentally tripping on something or somebody accidentally bumping into me and then me dropping the camera. Now the great thing about this is, of course, if I put this in my bag, like I don't, I don't need to take this off, right? It's just, it's just always there. And kind of the form factor, it's, it's very non-obtrusive, um, in my opinion. Uh, you know, it's, it's not very big, so it doesn't really get in the way of anything. You know, when I'm putting it in bag, it just kind of slides right in, and I can take it right back out. Now you can kind of see, I mean, the, the actual thickness here is not, you know, it doesn't really take up that much actual, actual space, you know. Um, now you can attach, you can attach the micro clutch without the tripod plate. Okay. So you can, you can have it with, with just this, but you know, I, I, because I use the capture clip and I use tripods, I always just leave it on, right? Before I got the micro clutch, I would just have the regular Peak Design capture clip plate on here, just always on there. Uh, so that I can use it with you know, the capture clip. I could put it onto a tripod. I could just easily move it around and it doesn't take up that much space on the camera anyways. So I always just left it on. Now the thing is, this is not the same plate as the regular capture clip plate. Okay, this is specific for the micro clutch. You cannot use the regular one with the micro clutch. Uh, and just, it just has to do with the design. Um, and I would say the caveat, of course, is that, you know, the position of this plate is also more off centered than the regular capture clip plate. That's just something to be aware of. Like it's when you put this down on a table, it's, it's not as, you know, it's not as balanced as if you only had the capture clip plate on this thing. In order to access the battery, right, which on this camera is like right here, you do have to kind of remove this thing. It's not that big of a deal for me because I don't usually have a problem with my battery running out during the day. I do have extra battery, but I don't use it that often. Usually I don't have to take this off to solve the battery. But the caveat here is on some cameras, your memory card slot is also there, right? So if you have to access the memory card, well then you gotta take this thing off in order to access the memory card. So that can be a little bit annoying. For me, it doesn't really matter because my memory card is on the side. And uh, so I don't actually have to take this off that often. Now to remove this, they do include this tool in the front, which is attached magnetically. One caveat of this though, is that it can be a little bit difficult to get it out. Um, I actually find it's easiest if, you know, you just have one finger and you press all the way in to try to get it to pop out as much as possible before you try to take it out. But it's actually not very easy. <laughs> you know, I, I find it's very difficult for me to do it with one hand. So that's kind of something to consider is that if you do have to swap out your batteries a lot, 
it can be a little bit tedious to have to take this off all the time. And if you're taking it off all the time, you know, there's a possibility you might not end up putting the tool back into this thing. And so you might lose this and if you lose this. Well, then now you're kind of like stuck without being able to take this thing off. So that's a little bit annoying. You know, I was using the cuff wrist strap uh, before using this thing. And with that, you know, when I'm just out and about during the daytime, you know, if I'm out all day with my camera, you know, sometimes I might just kind of hold this on, on my side, right? Like I'm just, I'm just, just dangling, dangling my arm. And so the way I hold my camera then would, would be like this, right? I'm just, I'm just holding it. I got my wrist strap on and you know, I don't have any fear of dropping it, right? Um, but with the micro clutch, kind of the issue is like my hand now has to be at this kind of awkward angle, right? If I'm holding this, you know, vertical. And so like holding it like this all day, uh, actually is not that comfortable. <laughs> uh, you know, after, after like a couple of hours, like I, I, I can't, my hand just starts to hurt. Like I can't hold it like this. And so I end up having to walk around holding it, you know, this, this way, you know, by my side, which is also a little bit weird. It's, it's a little bit awkward. Um, it just doesn't feel as comfortable, you know, with the cuff. Again, I don't have, I don't have that weird angle. You know, it's just on my, it's just on my wrist. And uh, so I would argue that it's actually not necessarily as comfortable if you're using your camera all day. Now, the thing is, I do like this better than having the wrist strap, mainly because, you know, I use like the sling bag or I use a backpack and I'm always putting my camera in and out of the bag, right? And if I'm out during the day, you know, maybe I'm just out with family or friends or whatever. And, you know, take some photos, I put this in my bag, but the wrist strap, I got to take the wrist strap off, right? So I can, I can close my bag. But then now I've got this wrist strap on my wrist and, you know, sometimes I'm not sure should I take my wrist strap off too? Cause I don't know how long I'm going to be leaving in my bag. Sometimes I might leave it in my bag for, you know, 15, 20 minutes, whatever, cause you know, we're doing something, whatever. And sometimes it's like, oh, I got shot, I, I need to take it back out. So sometimes I don't know if I should take my wrist strap off or not. Now, the Peak Design cuff, you know, you can kind of manipulately attach it to your wrist so that it's, it's kind of out of the way. But, you know, on a hot day, like sometimes it's just, it's just awkward. And the benefit of this is of course, but this is my bag, it just, it just stays, it just stays on. I don't have to take it off. And, and the profile, you know, form factor is such that, you know, it doesn't really take up that much, that much space, you know? So if it's in any bag, uh, there's no issues. I don't have to take it off or we'll put it back on every time I want to use it. I just pull it straight out of my bag and immediately start using it and it's secure. So I think as an alternative to a wrist strap, it is a good alternative. If you want to use this with a neck strap, you actually can use it with a neck strap. Now the way they talk about how to use it, you know, on their market in their marketing is of course you attach, you know, one side to, to this, to this part, the other side, they do have kind of a, a slot here where you can attach another anchor point. Um, and you can basically attach the strap there. Uh, of course, if you have the, the tripod plate, you can also attach it here as well. But I don't know, uh, unless I'm using a long lens, I feel like when I put it that way, you know, sometimes it's a little bit weird, like the angle of your camera ends up being a bit weird. So I actually like to you know, put it over here. Right, you can still put, you can, I can, I can still actually put a Peak Design anchor right here, right? Let's put it right here, put another one right here. And so now I actually have it as just a regular neck strap. Um, so that's, that's good that, you know, this thing is not so thick that it kind of prevents you from doing it. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. You, you can actually use the neck strap like you normally would. Something about the fit. So this thing can actually be pretty loose, you know, so if you, if you got big hands, I don't think there should be any problems. You can adjust both this side and this side. Um, so this can actually come out quite a lot. When I installed this thing initially, and I would say my, my hands are not huge, but they're not small either. You know, they're, they're medium size, I guess. But I find that I needed to get it to be a bit tight uh, in order to feel secure. I didn't have it this tight before. I actually had it a little bit looser, but like, you know, when it was looser, you know, okay, yeah, maybe it felt more comfortable holding it this way, but it just didn't feel as secure. Like I felt like I can just easily 
lose my grip if it's too loose. So I actually made mine you know, a little bit tighter so that it's harder for it to fall off, right? It's harder for it to slip off, which is why I want it, right? I want it to be secure and it's not too tight for me. You know, for me, like I just use the two finger uh, method. I, I still have, you know, I can still access the, the shutter button really easily. And I can get to all the all the buttons and stuff like that. There's no there's no no specific problem, right? Even even this here, I can still access all this. Um, like I have no problems. I, I've heard other people online say that they have some issues with reaching the shutter button. You know, I, I don't know how the hell they're doing it, <laughs> but at least the way I configured it, I don't feel like there's any issue. I mean, I can even use if I want to shoot this way. I can use my thumb to shoot, um, but. Shooting it normally is fine too. Now, again, this is it. This is the L plate, uh, so you can kind of see the angle here. It's more angled. If you have the I plate, you know where this will be more straight. Maybe that will be a little bit more difficult because your hand will not be angled this way. It will be a little bit straighter, and maybe that will make it a little bit harder to to press. I, I don't know, but at least my experience so far with this is I, I have no problems at all uh, using this. Uh, if I really didn't want to use it too, I can also just go like this, right? And it doesn't really take up much, much space. So uh, for me, the experience, the feel uh, has been pretty good. Okay, so a key question is, would I recommend this for you? Well, I think if you are a wrist strap type of user and you want to have a more secure feel, a tighter feel to your camera, then Yes, I would highly recommend this. Main difference to me is that with this thing, it's, it's as if you were seat belted into your camera. Okay, you're like attached to your camera, it's attached to your hand. Now, having said that, now some people don't like that, right? Some people actually like it to be a little bit more free, in which case the wrist strap might actually be better, right? But if you want kind of that more secure feeling, I, I do highly recommend this for that. Now, if you're a neck strap user, you know, if that's what you mostly use and you always have an extra on, then I'm not sure how much more benefit this would have for you because with an extra, I mean, you pretty much have no fear of dropping it. But if you're considering, you know, using a wrist strap instead of an extra strap, then I would say this is a very good alternative, right? And in fact, to me, I think it's better than a wrist strap. Um, you know, after I got this, I pretty much almost never used my, my wrist strap anymore. Um, I just always have, have this on. So I highly recommend it. Okay, so that's my review of the Peak Design Micro Clutch. Now, if you found this video useful or interesting, then I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos like this where I talk about products I own, products I've used, things I like about them, things I don't like about them, my experience using them, and maybe some quirks that I found. So if that's things that you're interested in, then stick around. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.